Yeah, and I, again, you know, one of the... That's... The scene starts with a Neanderthal man named Skewer standing on the shoreline and hollering at Mira. He surges into the sea and swims, but gets pushed into the water a few times. A Tyrannosaurus named Tooth stands and observes as the water pushes Skewer back to the shore he stands up and as he gazes at the sea, he sees a leaf coasting on the water he surges to the trees and employments his improvised pound to cut a few down Tooth sees what he is doing and employments her teeth and tail to cut down a few trees Skewer thunders at Tooth as they work together to assemble logs of wood Tooth falls asleep that night and Skewer shapes a flatboat utilizing the wood he asks Tooth to climb on the flatboat the following morning, but she denies it. Skewer surges into the woods and employments a few bugs as a trap to form Tooth gets on the flatboat, pushes the flatboat away from the shore, and starts their journey. Through the sea, a skewer moves the pontoon as Tooth sits and observes he gets onto the pontoon since he is depleted, and Tooth employments her tail to impel the pontoon that night. A few ocean animals swim beneath the flatboat as the moon rises and enlightens the water skewer and tooth listen to interesting clamors and as they wake up, they see a few whales swimming next to them. They shout at the whales and the whales, in the long run, submerged skewer wakes up the morning and realizes that tooth is hungry he bounces into the water and swims around in search of nourishment he proceeds to swim around but doesn't he discover any nourishment and returns to the surface to breathe tooth thunders at him and he shouts at her they lie on the pontoon as the sun harms their skin and listen an interesting clamor stick plunges into the water to see what it is and he sees a giant Turtle skewer chokes the turtle because it swims around and teeth salivates on the flatboat he swims to the surface for discussion and jumps into the water the turtle tries to assault him but he avoids and proceeds choking it he swims underneath the flatboat and forces the turtle to stay out of the water tooth sees it and nibbles it murdering it they drag it onto the pontoon and eat its meat whereas spear gets the thought to utilize its shell as a shade they proceed their travel and see a few Angle bouncing out of the water flying dinosaurs develop and assault them as they capture the angle a storm starts and a megalodon develops it devastates the pontoon and tooth and stick drop into the water it assaults tooth as skewer swims to them but she avoids and tries to elude the megalodon moves around and tries to assault stick but he avoids its assault it inevitably catches him in its mouth and he employments a bit of wood to wound its mouth he swims to tooth and an expansive wave hits then the megalodon re-emerges and stick cuts its eye the waves ended up more savage and partition skewer and tooth wake up on a shoreline and realize she isn't with stick she runs around the shoreline as she roars but doesn't discover a stick tooth sits on the shoreline and holds up for the stick to reach she listens to an interesting clamor from the woodland and goes to see what it is she sees a figure that looks like a skewer but finds out it's a shake and an adhere foam proceeds strolling around and experiences another tyrannosaurus named ruddy running absent while tooth strolls around in front of him he observes her as she stands on the shake and she strolls away a flying squirrel hops off a tree and lands on the spear's hand and catches the mosquito and eats it as he lies obliviously on the floor. Bizarre men walk to him and carry him away. Fong chases an animal as it runs away, and Ruddy rises. They capture the creature and snarl at each other as they battle for it. Ruddy lets go of the creature and walks absent as Tooth eats, and she tosses a chunk of meat for him. He eats the meat and joins her in eating the creature. In the interim, Stick wakes up in a strange room secured in mud. He falls to the ground and recalls how he broke his arm in the sea. A lady who may be a witch specialist enters. A villager realizes that the skewer is harmed and anxious. He stops the others from assaulting and gives the skewer nourishment and water. Doctor's house and permits her to work on his arm. She hits him a few times and splashes powder on him, causing him to drop asleep. He eats with man's family that night and his girl is scared of him ruddy and tooth play as they attempt to capture some fireflies stick gazes at the sky and strolls around. He sees a wolf eating meat and strolls to it. It snarls at him but he restrains it and they share its meat tooth and red wake up the next day, and ruddy strolls through the haze. 
Tooth takes after him and they sneak through a boundary and enter the town Ruddy assaults the people and starts eating them and Tooth joins him the individuals start to shout and Skewer surges out and sees her he picks an elder and blows a horn but gets no response and they arrive at the dock they see a trail of blood that leads to the town and as they enter Eldar vomits as he sees a dead body the fog clears and they see that everyone in the town is dead the chieftain rushes as he searches for his wife but finds her dead on the ground he cries as he screams her name and Eldar emerges with his younger brother Eldar and the chieftain bury the people in a cave and seal it with a large rock they return to their boat release the slaves and place Rika and the boy on the boat they push the boat into the water and the chieftain is too sad to set it ablaze Eldar comforts his dad who takes the bow and arrow and sets the boat on fire they wear their armor set the town on fire, and set out to have their revenge. In 1890 in England a man enters a house as it rains, and the butler informs him of the meeting that is occurring in the study. Members of a group called the Historical Society sit in a study, Charles a scientist, talks to the people. He tells them that they aren't different from the primitive men and can revert to that behavior under the right circumstances. The butler enters the study and informs Darlington that the constable wants to talk to them and says it's urgent. The constable enters and informs Darlington and the others that an inmate in the asylum escaped and killed an orderly in the process. He says they should be careful and remain indoors because the man is dangerous Darlington says they have the inmate and points at Charles as he and the others make fun of him. The constable leaves and Darlington says Charles's theory is insane. They hear a strange noise from upstairs and the butler goes to check what it is. They hear a crashing sound again, and as they talk, a strange liquid enters one of the men's cups. They realize that the liquid is blood and they decide to check on the butler Charles Darlington and a French man go upstairs to check on the butler but see the asylum inmate eating him they run away as he attacks them and Charles hits him with a chair but he doesn't flinch they run to the study as it pursues them and it kills another man the trio tries to run away and they lock themselves in a room the insane man bursts in through the window and they remove the barricade and run to the armory. He follows them and strangles Charles but Darlington loads a gun and shoots at the man runs out of the room and they arm themselves and leave the room the trio slowly walks around the house and the insane man suddenly appears beside them Darlington tries to shoot him but he dodges and attacks them he grabs Blakely headbutts him and uses him as a shield. The insane man tries to attack them but Darlington shoots and injures him he runs away and Charles and Darlington enter the study to search for him. The insane man drops from the roof and knocks them to the ground Darlington stands up, takes off his shirt, and fights the insane man Charles is surprised and sees a poster that says Darlington is a boxing champion Darlington punches the man several times but the man begins strangling him and Charles helps him Darlington shoots the man with an arrow and he falls into a pond. They enter the garden and the man emerges from some flowers and throws a flower pot at them. He knocks Darlington to the ground and beats Charles. He tries to eat Charles, but Darlington picks up a large bone and hits him. He takes off his shirt and fights the insane man like a barbarian he stabs the man several times with a stick and eventually stabs his head killing him Charles sees what happens and celebrates and Darlington realizes Charles was right Spear wakes up on a boat with his injuries healed he sees Mira tending to Fong's wounds and she rushes to him and touches him. She returns to Fong and pulls the arrows from him as she treats her wounds. Later, Spear and Fong wake up and Fong stares at the fog Mira and Spear pick up their weapons, and the chieftain and elder's ship emerge. Ram enters Spear's ship and the chieftain jumps on the ship Fong tries to attack him, but elder shoots at her spear. She fights the chieftain, but he is covered in armor, and none of Spear's attacks penetrate. Fong and Mira fight Elder as he shoots several arrows at them she hits Elder off the top but he saves himself and lands on the ground an arrow and Mira takes it and jumps off the ship spear and Fong follow her and jump off the ship as IMA screams several soldiers attack Kamau and he knocks them down as people watch as he fights and gets inspired to climb the stairs. But the giant paddles move toward them the paddles stop moving and Kamau watches as his people fight and defeat the soldiers a. Spear enters a small ship, Q 
kills the soldiers, and releases the slaves that move the ship. Ima walk to the stairs. But the giant Africans emerge and attack them Kamau walks to her and she tries to fight him, but he doesn't tee flinch he picks her up, walks to the edge of the ship and throws her down Ima lands and Spear's ship and dies on impact Spear and Mira look up and see Kamau happy with his daughter that night. Spear and Mira stare at the sky as their ship moves away Amal feats come out and they see the chieftain at a distance he walks on water and continues searching for Spear Fong a young Spear stands beside his dad his dad begins painting on a wall and several saber-toothed tigers emerge. They attack the people and Spear and his dad fight and kill them the tigers injure Spear's dad and bite his arm off. Spears continues fighting but the tigers kill his dad and eat him. He gets angry and fights the tigers, killing most of them. He hides under a dead tiger as one attacks and uses a rock to smash its head. He continues smashing its head in anger. As he stops, the townspeople give him a necklace and make him their chief. Mira wakes up in excitement and points at her home. They get to the shore and Mira stares at a tree and cries. Spear consoles her, and she remembers how she was having fun with her friends and how they loved her. A strange man appeared on their shores and attacked them they kidnapped her as they killed her friend Amara and branded her head enslaving her. The ship enters a storm and an axe falls in front of her. She cuts the chain that holds her, jumps into the water, and escapes Mira continues crying and Fong and her kids leave the boat as the babies learn how to swim spear and the others walk through the land and arrive at a cave that night Mira performs her prayer, and spear joins her. The following morning, Fong places her kids beside Spear and leaves the cave she walks around as she searches for food and comes across a woman bathing in a pond the woman sees Fong and screams Mira and Spear hear the scream and run to Fong Mira stop Fong from attacking the woman and realizes the woman is her friend Amara. They hug as they are reunited, and Amara takes them to her hometown. Fong and the babies enter the town and the townspeople are terrified. Mira calms them and meets the chief, who makes everyone celebrate her return the townspeople sat around a fire that night and watched a performance they bow as someone dressed as a moon arrives and dances Spear walks to Fong and the babies and sits with them Mira takes them to an empty building and Fong breaks through the wall she sleeps with her kids beside her and Spear doesn't sleep. He begins drawing on the wall and eventually falls asleep Mira enters the building the following day and sees the drawings on the wall she watches as Spear sleeps and feels bad for him Spear sits and watches as Fong walks around. The townspeople scream as the chieftain arrives, and Spear climbs Fong and runs to him. The chieftain forms a weapon and screams as he attacks them. They run away, but he transforms into a snake and follows them up a hill. He sets Spiro ablaze, but Spear pushes him and they fall down the hill. Mira rushes to him and puts out the fire on his body. The demon entity emerges and drags the chieftain to the underworld Mira asks for help, and they take a Spear to the building. The witch doctor treats Spear, but he is gravely wounded and Fong cries she and her kids leave the room and Spear mumbles Myra's name she looks at the drawing and realizes Spear loves her Mira gets on Spear and mates with him years later. Fong and her kids walk around as Mira follows them Mira and Spear's daughter sits on one of the kids she holds a Spear and screams as the dinosaur roars the end thank you for watching. Check out these other videos, and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time. The episode begins with a Neanderthal man named Spear standing on the beach and yelling at Mira he rushes into the ocean and swims but gets pushed into the water several times. A Tyrannosaurus named Fong stands and watches as the water pushes Spears into the water. It growls at him, but he takes it, and they share its meat. Fong and Red wake up the following day and Red walks through the fog Fong follows him, and they sneak through a barrier and enter the town. Red attacks the humans and begins eating them, and Fong joins him. The people begin to scream, and Spear rushes out and sees her. He picks up a spear and tries to fight Red, but Fong stops him. He tries jumping on Fong's back, but she doesn't let him. They continue fighting, and Red tries to eat the spear. Fong stops and kicks him off the roof. 
He falls and gets impaled. Fong rushes to him. She feels bad for what she did and walks away. Spear and Fong sit in the woods as it rains. Spear soothes her about Red's death, but she ignores him he stands and sits somewhere else, and she eventually walks to him. They walk through the forest as it continues to rain and find a cave. They carefully enter the cave and Spear starts a fire he sees that the cave goes even deeper and he lights a stick and walks inside he finds paintings on the wall and looks at them. He sees a painted hand and compares it with his hand Spear. He returns to Fong and sits down the following day. Spear steps out of the cave and smiles as he sees that the forest is beautiful. He sees humans hunting antelopes in the field and remembers the painting in the cave. Spear continues walking and sees an old village. He looks at it and imagines when humans inhabited it. Spear picks up a spear and catches an animal. He takes it to the cave and drops it on the ground. That night, Spear walks out of the cave and does the ritual. He saw Mira doing it, and he saw an owl staring at him and chases it away later Spear and Fong woke up as they hear a strange noise. A bear emerges with a man on its back and it growls at them Fong roars at the bear, and the cave begins to crumble as they roar at each other. The bear leaves the cave and Spear and Fong pursue it another bear hides beside the cave's entrance and scratches Spear's back he roars at the bear as a spear is on the ground and he stands up and prepares to fight. The second man prepares to fight the spear sees the symbol on the man's shield and realizes it's the same one on Myra's head. The man sees that he won't win the fight and runs away. He takes off his helmet as he runs, but trips and falls to the ground he hides and sees Spear and Fong emerge from the woods he tries to run away, but the spear throws it at him and impales his leg. He says Myra's name to the man but he stands up and fights Spear Fong grabs the man and eats him and Spear picks up his sword he practices with it and realizes he likes it. They see a footprint and decide to follow it Spear and Fong run through the woods and arrive at a human town he instructs her to stay in the woods as he enters the town and searches for Mira Spear walks through the town and finds several slaves in a building. The slaves panic, but Mira sees them and hugs them. He tries to leave with her but she refuses to leave the other slave Spear walks out of the building with Mira and the others he hears a growling sound coming from the fog and prepares to fight several men arrive in town riding on bears the slaves kneel as they see the men but Spear prepares to fight. A man on a bear sees that Spear is holding his comrade's sword and he screams the men approach Spear as they prepare to attack him but the bears smell something and become uncomfortable Spear smiles as the people wonder what's going on and Fong emerges she stands on a building and roars but she falls into the building. A man tries to attack Spear but Fong eats him Spear and Fong fight the men and defeat most of them a man hears the noise emerge from his hut and sees what's happening he rushes and rings a bell to inform the people that they are under attack the people emerge from their homes and see Spear and Fong fight and kill several people Rika, the chieftain's wife, emerges from her house and prepares to fight. Mira instructs the slaves to run into the forest and a man follows her the townspeople surround Spear and Rika's son shoots him with an arrow Mira kills the man's bear and picks the king emerges and is frightened as Spear and Fong Roar emerge from the ground. The chieftain, who is now a powerful monster, forms a weapon from his hand and practices his new powers the chieftain begins walking and as he gets to a stream, he walks on water meanwhile. The Egyptian soldiers loot the city and IMA arrives with fangs and eggs. Kamau's daughter Amal goes to the king and sees his cheetah cub she takes the cub and orders her men to kill the king. IMA allows Kamau to see his daughter and Fong growls at her because she is with her eggs. A soldier takes Amal from Kamau and returns her to Ima Fong roars at her and they are forced to continue fighting in several wars Spear Fong and Kamau walk into the ship and enter a pool as they bleed after the fight. They engage in more wars and IMA and her soldiers loot the fallen kingdoms while in the pool, a cannonball breaks through the wall and a different kingdom attacks their king fights with the soldiers and is shocked as he sees Spear Fong and Kamau defeating his men with ease the Egyptians defeat their enemies and sink their ship that night. 
IMA sits on her throne as her slaves entertain her and her soldiers hold the enemy king a soldier pushes Mira, but she refuses to dance and the music stops playing Emma stands and the people continue playing the music as she dances she dances in front of the king and kicks him off the ground killing him she walks to her throne and Mira dances for her the following day the Egyptians arrive at a peaceful kingdom and their leader offers food to Ima she looks around as the leader kneels before her and walks away Ima instructs Kamau to kill the people but he refuses and gathers their offerings. Ima threatens to kill Amal and Kamau walks back to the leader and kills him he attacks and kills the townspeople as they scream and run away Spear and the others sit in their cell that night and Spear stares at Kamau a soldier emerges with meat and throws it into the cell Spear drops his meat outside the cell and knocks out the guard as he walks to him he retrieves the key unlocks his cell and steps out he opens Kamau's cell but he refuses to leave Spear makes his way up the stairs and gets to Ima he sees Mira dancing and sees Fong's eggs beside Ima Mira sees Spear and a slave scream Spear tries to fight Ima but she uses her skills to fight him Mira retrieves the eggs in Amal and tries to escape but Ima follows them Spear knocks her down and attacks the soldiers they make their way out down a staircase and the eggs hatch a Spear and Mira fight the soldiers Ima punches Mira and takes the baby dinosaurs from her Fong. Here's the dinosaurs breaks out of her cage and attacks them. Soldiers. Ima threatens to kill the dinosaurs in a mall and Kamau emerges and sees what is happening a giant Egyptian ship moves through the ocean Ima holds the baby dinosaurs with chains while Spear and the others are held down with chains Kamau stands in front of them with an axe and is ordered to kill them he raises the axe and prepares to kill Fong and she closes her eyes Kamau looks at Amal and remembers when they were in their village he stops her from killing a spider and sets it free the giant. Africans are a tribe of peaceful people who live in harmony they are suddenly attacked by Ima and her soldiers and Kamau places Amal on his back as he fights and kills the soldiers Ima swiftly takes them all from his shoulder and threatens to kill her he kneels before her and as he holds the axe he uses it to free Fong and throws it at Ima with the intent to kill her Ima dodges the axe. And the baby dinosaurs run to their mother spear removes the concrete slab that's connected to the chain and uses it to fight the soldiers Mira uses her feet to retrieve a key and frees herself she releases spear and Ima gets angry as she stands up Ima runs to a giant gun and shoots Fong but she dodges she swings to a spear gun but spear pushes it as she shoots Fong he picks up a weapon and fights her Kamau runs with Amal and she leads him to a room he realizes that his people are forced to move the ship using giant paddles spear fights Ima while Mira and Fong fight the soldiers one of the baby Dinosaurs gets hit by an arrow and Mira takes it and jumps off the ship Spear and Fawn. As Ima shouts a few troopers assaulted Kamau and he thumps them down. His individuals observe as he battles and gets propelled to battle for their opportunity in the interim skewer and the others swim absent as the mammoth paddles move toward them the paddle halt moving and Kamau observes as his individuals battle and vanquish the troopers stick enters a little dispatch murders the warriors and discharges the slaves that move the transport Emma strolls to the stairs but the mammoth Africans rise and assault them Kamau strolls to her and she tries to battle him. But he doesn't recoil he picks her up strolls to the edge of the transport and tosses her down I'm a lands and lances dispatch and kicks the bucket on effect skewer and Mira see up and see Kamau upbeat with his girl that night skewer and Mira gaze at the sky as their transport moves absent Amal accomplishments come out and they see the chieftain at a remove he strolls on water and proceeds looking for stick and tooth the youthful stick stands next to his father his father starts portray on a Divider and a few saber-toothed tigers rise they assault the individuals and skewer and his father battle and slaughter them the tigers harm Lance's father and nibble his arm off skewer proceeds battling but the tigers slaughter his father and eat him he gets irate and battles the tigers and murders most of them he stows away beneath a dead tiger as one assaults and employments a shake to crush its head he proceeds crushing its head in outrage and as he stops the townspeople allow him a accessory and make him their chief Mira wakes skewer up in energy and focuses at her domestic they get to the shore and Mira gazes at a tree and cries stick supports her and she recollects how she was having fun with her companions and adore her unusual man showed up on their shores and assaulted them they captured her as they murdered her companion Amara and branded her head oppressing her the dispatch enters a storm 
and an axe falls before her she cuts the chain that holds her hops into the water and get away Mira proceeds crying in tooth and her kids take off the watercraft as the babies learn how to swim stick and the others walk through the arrive and arrive at a cave that night Mira performs her supplication and skewer joins her the taking after morning tooth places her kids next to stick and clears out the cave she strolls around as she looks for nourishment and comes over a lady showering in a lake the lady sees tooth and shouts Mira and stick listen the shout and run to Tooth Mira stops Tooth from assaulting the lady and realizes the lady is her companion Amara they embrace as they are rejoined and Amara takes them to her hometown skewer Tooth and the babies enter the town and the townspeople are startled Mira calms them and meets the chief who makes everybody celebrate her return the townspeople sit around a fire that night and observe a execution they bow as someone dressed as a moon arrives and moves skewer strolls to Tooth and the babies and sits with them. Mira takes them to an purge building and Tooth breaks through the divider she rests with her kids next to her and Stick doesn't rest he starts drawing on the divider and inevitably falls sleeping Mira enters the building the taking after day and sees the drawings on the divider she observes as Stick rests and feels awful for him Stick sits and observes as Tooth strolls around the townspeople shout as the chieftain arrives and Stick climbs Tooth and runs to him the chieftain shapes a weapon and Shouts as he assaults them they run absent but he changes into a wind and takes after them up a slope he sets Spiro blast but skewer pushes him and they drop down the slope Mira surges to him and puts out the fire on his body the wicked substance rises and drags the chieftain to the black market Mira inquires for offer assistance and they take stick to the building the witch specialist treats skewer but he is gravely injured and tooth cries she and her kids take off the room and stick murmurs. Myra's title she looks at the drawing and realizes Stick adores her Mira gets on Stick and mates with him a long time afterward Tooth and her kids walk around as Mira takes after them Mira and Spears girl sits on one of the kids she holds a stick and shouts as the dinosaur thunders. Finishing the story. Thank you for watching check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos see you next time.